All right, so uh, now what we're going to do is make a character, uh, just a, a creative character um, uh, that you will submit for the lab. Okay, so the last video was just kind of an intro to the interface. This video, we're actually going to make something. All right, so uh, first off, you probably already have something in here. Uh, I just have an empty sphere, but just so that we do it, we're just going to go ahead and do um, file, new scene, uh, don't save. And then we'll just go ahead and choose sphere again, and it will give us a brand new sphere. And so now we have a new sphere. If I hit W, oops, come on, W, you can see there's our sphere. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different than what we did last time. We're going to tessellate the model, and then using that, we will uh, sculpt it, okay? Because right now, if I were to sculpt this, let's see, I grab it here. If I were to grab this, you're going to see it can only go so far uh, before the polys start to um, stretch out, right? So, like, I can't, there's not enough geometry to support making a character or something. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use, um, we're going to tessellate the model and then use dynamic tessellation. And that's going to allow us to basically create geometry as we're sculpting, as opposed to just sculpting directly on it. Now, there is use in what we're doing this. Well, not exactly this, but something that doesn't look terrible like this, but that'll be later on. So what I want to do first is just tessellate this so that we can use the tessellation tools. So uh, we have the model here. I'm just going to I'm just going to go to um, the mesh and then we're just going to go generate tessellation mesh. And you're going to see it's going to turn all the quads basically into tries. OK, so now we have um, these tries and what we can do is we can use tessellation to make our model now um, what that means is that um, to give you an idea just so we have uh, I'm gonna grab my sculpt tool go over here and then you want to open make sure that you still have a uh, mirror on X okay we want to keep this symmetrical you want to open up the tessellation and you want to turn it on. It'll be off by default. Okay. So turn that on. And then I just punch in like 30 and 30 for these two just to start with. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And what this allows us to do is this. Without it, when I go to sculpt, right, you can see it will only go so far, right, until it starts to break and we get what we call fast. Meaning we can see the faces of the geometry, okay? But when I have that on, what will happen? Don't do this. I'm just showing you. You can see it's actually creating the geometry necessary uh, to do what we need. And that's the secret, okay? So uh, leave that like that is. And then I'm just going to go ahead and on grab, I'm going to also turn on tessellation. So, because these are the two ones that we're basically going to use. So we'll have to, um, sculpt and grab. All right. So now we're set up to start sculpting. Uh, but what would be better is if I had something to work from. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, I would suggest, this is what we did in class, is just to make a, um, a Pokemon, just because they're kind of simple and they're roundish. They're just round things with stuff thrown on them. So that's what we're going to do here. So, uh... Uh, I went on the internet and I found a picture of Pikachu and I just downloaded it and saved it to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the image inside of my scene, but over here. So to do that, I'm going to go to my object list over here. We're going to go to perspective because that's the view we're looking through. I'm going to hit the little plus and then you'll see image plane. You're going to select image plane and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it on. Usually there's little dots here. I don't know where those went. It's kind of weird. Um, uh, I'm going to turn it on, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to import the image. So I'll click on import, and I'll scroll down, find my picture. Here it is. There's my Pikachu. Okay. Now, what you're going to notice is I can't see my model. And the reason why is because the picture is right up against my camera. Picture I have a camera, and then we just slap a picture right in front of it. Anything that, that's behind it, I can't see. So we have to take the depth of this, and I'm just going to shove it all the way back. So now it's behind my... Um, my uh, model here okay next thing i'm gonna do is go to my transform i don't like how big this is i mean you might like it you can leave it that big if you want but i don't find it super helpful so underneath transform i'm just going to go ahead and make it 0.5 by 
0.5. And apparently I wrote 5. I meant 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So now it's the half, it's half the size it was. Last thing I need to do is move this guy over here. Okay. So I'm going to select the image plane again up here. And then holding E like Eddie. Uh, and middle mouse button. I'm just going to middle mouse button. Click and drag over in the corner. And then let go. And there you go. So now I can rotate this around. And this will just stay right there, and it's in front of it, and it'll be a little bit easier to work with. Okay. So we can actually start uh, modeling this. Now, what we want to do is we want to work broad to specific, okay? Um, also, make sure to see how this is front. That means I'm on the front of it, right, as I rotate. So this is the front. I want to work broad to specific. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a head, and I'll make kind of the body. Then I'll make the limbs, and then I'll do details, all right? So uh, I need to make the head first. I'm just going to use Sculpt, and I'm just going to draw on the top of this. Uh, ahead, so I'm just gonna go sculpt, and we're gonna just kind of, kind of just draw, 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 draw like that over and over again until I get something like this that looks super gorgeous. Let's just do that a little bit more. Okay. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is hold shift just to smooth it all out. All right, and that's kind of scary. All right, and let's see call that good all right so um, now what I'm going to do is use my grab tool okay and um, make sure you got tessellation on uh, we'll go ahead and keep that on during stroke and it might be on after stroke just do during stroke is fine uh, and I'm just gonna use this in order to kind of you know pull it and make it the right size I'm hold B for the the um, brush size and I'm gonna pull this out pull that out Right, because he's kind of like a, a peanut -y shape. And I'm just going to kind of squish this in. Right, kind of squish that down. I'm going to hold shift to smooth. It's always good to smooth. Smooth, 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 smooth. Right, and just kind of further try to get this to be what it needs to. And I'm just going to pull this out this way as well. And we'll pull this way out this way. And we'll pull this out this way. Just trying, going around the whole thing and just making sure that it is uh, roughly the right size. Then shift to smooth to if there's any kind of weird little things there. Okay. Getting a little bit closer. Let's pull that down a little bit. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Just want to pull it down so you've got a little bit more of like a chin. All right. And I, I have wireframe on with W. I just find it easier to see the model with it on, but you don't have to. Um, you can also do display and wireframe. Okay, we'll call that not good, but uh, good enough for the body to start with. I'll have to I'll probably have to do a little bit more, but we'll call that good as far as um, a little bit of the body is concerned. So now I need to do the limbs. So we could do this uh, any number of ways. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll start with the sculpt here, and I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, and I'm going to make little nublets for his arms to come out of. So I think, you know, actually before I do that, let's go back to grab. I'm just going to hit two because it's one, two, three, right? So um, and I'm just going to push his stomach in a little bit because I feel like his arms need to come out and he's kind of hunched over. So we'll go like that and then I'll just smooth out the results. That's a little better. Okay. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and do his arms. So I'll go and I'm going to hit one to grab my sculpt tool. I'm going to hit B for the brush size. And I'm going to kind of draw nublets for where his arms are going to come out. So we'll say something like that. Okay. That's acceptable. And now what I want to do is I need to pull these down. But it's going to be really hard to do that with grab because it's going to want to yank other parts of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that freeze. I'm going to go to freeze. Let's see here. And uh, for my freeze selection, I'm going to make sure I have this here. And I'm going to go ahead and brush freeze on the top of it. Kind of like that. So I have the thing, but I actually want to grab this part, not the rest. So I'm going to invert it by hitting shift and then I. That was not I. Shift I. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go to grab. We'll make this much bigger. And then we'll take it and I'm just going to pull this kind of out and down, we'll say, like that kind of. Yeah, I don't have to do. Um, 
not the greatest looking thing. Okay, uh, now to clear the selection, or to clear the mask, it's shift and then U. All right, and then I'm just gonna smooth the results, and I'm going to, to make this uh, a little bit more even, I'm gonna go to this remesh, uh, and we'll just make this a little bit smaller, this right here, and I'm just gonna brush it in there. That will just give it, instead of those lines, it will give it um, some geometry to work with. Now I'm gonna hold shift and smooth it, so it's smoothed out, good. Let's go back over here, and I like to use bulge as well. So I'm just gonna kinda use bulge to fill out the arms a little bit. All right, kinda go underneath, and I'll hold shift to smooth. So bulge and smooth, bulge and smooth. All right, and let's do grab again. And let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's see if we can get this to be a little closer to what the picture looks like. All right. So it looks like his arms actually kind of go up. Yeah. Oops, let's make this a little bit smaller. It goes up like this. I'm just going to smooth that out, smooth that out. All right, that looks okay. You need to bulge a little bit and just bulge this out so he's got a little bit more of an arm. We'll just kind of have it kind of go up into his body here. All right, just trying to fill this in, smooth that out a little bit. Smooth that out a little bit. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay. It's not super grandiose, but he's got kind of arms there. They could use a little bit more work, but it's a start. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the legs. So I'm just going to go ahead and do sculpt. And I'm just going to kind of start building out his, I guess, leg area here. Smooth that out. I'm not 100% sure what position of this is supposed to be and then we'll make this a little bit smaller and we'll kind of see let's undo that I'm just going to kind of all right like that we'll say kind of a thing and then we'll smooth that smooth all right let's smooth this out a little bit all right you can kind of see he's sort of kind of getting there it's a little bit ugly but um, let's do the ear. So the ear will probably be easy to do the same thing we did last time with the freeze. So I'm going to take my freeze and um, we're going to go B to make it a little bit smaller. Let's go freeze where his ear should come out. That looks good. I'm going to hit shift I to inverse. Go to the grab. Go B to grab or the, the grab here and then B to make it bigger. I'm just going to pull this up and out and Let's see, that's not quite right. Oops, undo. Because I think it's, I don't know. I'm not really a Pikachu guy. All right, we'll call that good. I'll hit Shift U now to in, uh, to unselect. And let's just do the tail too while we're at it. Go back to freeze. I'm gonna go B. And we'll just put a little thing like that. And then Shift I. Back to grab. Make this big. So if I will pull this like this, I'm not going to worry too much about actually making a good looking tail. We're going to call that good. I'll hit shift U to clear the selection. Um, now what I'm going to do is use that fine again, just or the remesh so I can add geometry to this. All right, it's going to go there, brush, 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 okay, and smooth. Just a little bit of shift to smooth there, a little bit of shift to smooth. All right, okay, um, we've got kind of a basic form. It's a little bit lumpy. Uh, let's go back over here and let's do bulge. I'm just gonna add a little bit of girth to this and then oops, cancel and then smooth, a little bit more girth and smooth. A little more in here, smooth. Okay, it's a little better. Go draw, it's a little bit smaller just so that it's a little bit more vertical. I think that's, let's smooth that out. There we go. Smooth. Smooth. All right. Well, you get a rough idea. And then I guess kind of the same thing here. I'm going to add a little bit to his ear on the top. Smooth. So most of the time what you're going to do is you're going to draw a little and then smooth directly afterwards. Let's add a little bit more. Right there. Smooth. So let's go grab a little bit bigger, I think. Needs to be a little bit more, more pointy. 
He looks like a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a... Oops. What happened there? It didn't look like it moved both of them. There it goes. That's weird. Okay. Let's smooth that up a little bit. Okay. So, from there, um, what I could do is start... Um, I, w I would further flesh this out, but we're already at 15 minutes, and I don't want to take too long. Uh, you can roughly get the idea of what you would do. But once you want to start adding details, like such as this face here, uh, what I would do is uh, this. So the problem is, is that if I try to sculpt with the level that I'm currently sculpting, uh, if I hold Control and go in, um, oh, that's actually not too bad. little bit bigger and I'm just going to kind of go in a little bit here because it should kind of go in for where his eyes would be. And I'll smooth that out. Okay. And then we'll just do a little bit for this area so that it's up. Okay. Okay. That's a good enough base. All right. Maybe a little bit more of a brow. Okay. So um, the problem is I can't really do details because the geometry that we currently have, uh, the, the, the way that it's tessellating is only this much. So to make it more tessellated so you can get more detail, what you do is I'm going to stay on my sculpt, um, make this a little bit smaller because I want to draw a smaller line. Um, I'm also, uh, right now when I cut in, you see it's using this one. So when I hold control and go in, it's creating kind of a, let me make, I'm going to hold M and make this weaker too. Uh, it's creating kind of a, a, a bellow. What I want to do is do a sharp cut. So I'm going to try and cut in. Um, and then the other thing I need to do is this. If you look, there's not enough geometry there to support it. So what you do is B was brush size, M is strength, N, that is the density. So if you look at that triangle, see how it's roughly the size of the triangles? If you go up, it'll make it bigger. Now watch. It'll actually make them less. See that? But if I hold N and I make them smaller, you'll see that they'll actually start to go like that. Now, when I hold control and draw my lines, it'll actually make uh, denser geometry. And I'm actually going to hit W to turn that off so I can see a little bit better. So I can draw better eyes. Um, this looks horrific, but hopefully you get the idea anyway. So we're going to go like, like this for his eyes, let's say. And then I'm just going to hold shift after and smooth. And then we can draw a little bit of a nose. I'm just going to use this fall off. So I'm just going to kind of like that, just kind of fill it in and then hold shift just to smooth out that nose. And then he's got this little mouth. I'm going to use that cut in again. And I'm going to hold um, control. And we're going to kind of, I guess, something like that. And then I'm going to go back to this. And I'm actually just going to hold control and kind of cut this down a little bit. And I'm going to hold shift and smooth that out. Just like that. And then. Um, I'm going to hold N and make it a little less dense because that feels a little too dense. I'm going to add a little bit of something here just to give it a little bit more of a upper part here. So just draw a little smooth. And then let's add a little bit more to kind of this lower cheek thing here. Okay. Um, but we don't want to get too carried away with details because we'll be able to do details better later when we get our geometry much more dense. Um, uh, this this is about as dense as you should really get. Uh, but we do want to have points where we can tell what's supposed to be there because uh, we could get carried away with it. Like I could use this sculpt and then like, um, you know, ca carve in like wrinkles like this, you know. So like you kind of brush those in and then. start to like you know get this like really start to to work in like little details and such um, oops where are you be I can kind of You know, you can start to like really work in all sorts of, of fun, fun little details and such. Uh, but that's a time. That's uh, for another time. So 
Hopefully you can see kind of how to get a rough idea how you would make it. So I was just kind of carrying the same thing. Uh, I'd flesh it out smooth. You know, you can see some of it's a little bit bumpy. I would try to smooth that out by holding shift and smoothing, finishing the feet up, you know, making this a little bit more accurate. These look a little bit weird. These legs just kind of stick out weird. Uh, the arms are a little bit bleh, you know, so I need to like push that in uh, and just create a stronger wrinkle there. Uh, but hopefully you get the idea. So that's how we were going to do it. So when you're happy and you know it, you clap your hands and then you just do file, um, save scene as. You can just save it right as a, a mud box file. Just call it whatever you want. Uh, maybe your last name and then creative model. So I would do like cone creative model. Oops, not with a capital O. Model. And then just um, take that mud box file, this guy, and then just submit that on Blackboard and this lab is done. Uh, the main focus of this, honestly, you know, try to do as good of a job as you can. You want it to look nice, obviously, and you should enjoy it. Uh, as much as you can. But the main thing is just to try and get yourself familiar and comfortable um, with it. If you want to get carried away with the details, go for it. I like doing the details. You know, it's like the frosting on the cake, right? Everybody wants the frosting. But uh, the I just want you to get used to using the tools and, and, and you know, that. Okay? So, uh, good luck.